So you remember how at the end of the last episode I got a text message? You might not actually remember because for you guys it's been like half a week since that happened. Uh, for me it's been literally five seconds. I read that text and it... Uh, let me actually move on with the game. It read... Uh, translated because it's a friend of mine which is Dutch. Uh, so... It was, um, oh well, that's sad because I was talking about my life and things that weren't going uh, as smoothly as I'd like them to be. Uh, because that tends to happen sometimes, you know, that's the way of life and I complain about it to my friends because that's what friends are for, they're about bitching about your problems and it's, that's wonderful friendships are based on that. Anyway, so she was like, oh, that's kind of sad and then I went on a rant to you guys about that's a bit rude to say, isn't it? And then she just randomly texted, I shouldn't be doing drugs. It's like, let's get into this, because this seems like to be an interesting topic. Because yes, um, weed is legal where we live. In the Netherlands, it's legal. To some extent it is, at least. Um, technically speaking, it's legal to buy, it's legal to sell. But it's not legal to sell it to a coffee shop. That's pretty much how it works. It's really weird. But smoking pots, it's totally fine here. I mean, if you walk uh, on the streets, like, stoned out of your fucking mind with, like, a really big joint in your hand still, and there's an officer walking across the street, he'll probably say, can I have some of that? He probably won't, but that's how legal it is here, right? So I'm like, why? Why shouldn't you be doing drugs? Tell me, tell me. There's plenty of reasons. But tell me one. Tell me a good reason you shouldn't be doing drugs. Because there's plenty of reasons you should be, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, so she said, you know, I was cycling back home. And I'm, I like missed a turn. And I had to cycle for three extra kilometers. And I said, well... On one hand side, that sucks. On the other hand side, drugs are really good for you because you get more, like, bodily movement. You cycle for an extra three kilometers. That's really healthy. I mean, it's probably not fun. Especially when you didn't want to do it in the first place. Also, we can catch a Pokemon here. That's what I was looking for. But... Again... It's a whooper. Exactly what I wanted. I'm so happy right now. I'm so... Fucking happy. But drugs are good for you. Drugs are good for you. That, if there's anything you take away from this video, after watching this, it's drugs are good for you. Just after watching this video, don't don't go away now, but after watching this video, after this video is done, go get some crack. That's all I'm saying. Now, you gonna do that? I will not be held responsible for any, um, well, anything that happens, really, when you do it. If you get busted, doing crack. Actually, crack is not legal here, don't get me wrong. It's, like, just weed and, like, mushrooms. I don't even know if mushrooms are legal anymore. I don't think they are. I think it's pretty much just weed. Anyway, if you get busted doing any kind of drugs, don't fucking blame it on me. If you, like get killed doing something because you're tripping balls don't blame me well you can't blame me but don't have your family blame me just because i told you to do drugs don't do drugs they're not good for you now i get why everybody always says that because i don't want people doing drugs and then blaming shit on them that makes an awful lot of sense actually oh yeah this is not generation six so i'm not gonna actually gain a level what's Question. Is this a female whooper? <laughs> I didn't pay attention. I'm so happy that it was a whooper. It's not a female whooper. <laughs> Fuck me. We're gonna catch another Pokemon. You guys probably were screaming at the video. And rightfully so. This one, however, is female. And I'm going to switch out. Into Bob. I'm going to get rid of the other Wooper. I have more time now to think about a nickname for this Wooper. I'm going to call her... A female name. A water Pokemon, a water ground type. 
Uh, how much is water gun gonna do actually? Because that might actually kill. Nah, uh, think about it. That might have not been a good idea. That's oh, not too bad. Not too bad indeed. I'm going to call you. I don't know why. But his face, her face, oh damn it! I'd say her face reminds me a bit of Isaac from the Binding of Isaac, but Isaac is a boy. So can't do that. So how about... Maybe... Possibly... It's just an idea, but I was thinking... It could be, potentially, maybe, something along the lines of kinda like this. Bulma. It's the first, it's the first anime character I could come up with. I'm really sorry. Also, it's not Bulma, it's Bulma. Um... Also, Vegeta's going to fucking... Kill uh, Iago. And I don't think Iago stands much of a chance, to be honest. Because have you fucking seen Vegeta? I'm not even talking about like Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan shenanigans here. I'm talking about Saiyan Saga Vegeta. That dude's powerful as all fuck as it is. That guy blows up planets for a hobby. So I don't think this little bird living in Agrabah stands much of a chance against... I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. But the Prince of All Saiyans? I feel so... dirty saying that. Also, um... Uh, box 17 is going to be my illegal box. And that includes this whooper right over here. If Hoodoo dies, if Hoodoo dies and I need a new partner for Bulma, I'm gonna call him Vegeta. Because that kind of feels right. Unless it's a really wimpy Pokemon. As no, especially if it's a really wimpy Pokemon, because Vegeta's a pushover. He always gets beat by Goku, doesn't he? Actually, fun thing, um, Goku actually never beats Vegeta. Go watch the entirety of the Dragon Ball Z series. Goku never actually beats Vegeta. Every one of the battles is either... I mean, the first battle where Vegeta got beat was not just Goku. That was mainly Gohan doing that. I mean, Goku was pulling up a great fight, also I can catch something in here. Um, Goku was giving Vegeta great fights, but... At the end of the day, it was Ozaru Gohan mainly, which uh, dealt the most amount of damage to him. Together with, like, yeah, Jirobi, I guess, maybe because he cut off his tail. It was mainly Ozaru Gohan, which did the main work there. Also, Ghastly. Gotta have to think about a nickname there. Um, I'm just gonna stick with Dragon Ball Z names at the moment, I think, because otherwise... I don't even think I'll be able to catch this, to be honest. I think I'll probably kill it. Then the next fight uh, they have is... I'm thinking, when is the next time they fight? I think it might be all the way in the Boo Saga when um, Vegeta turns into Majin Vegeta. And that fight ends because Vegeta is like, Yeah, I'm gonna fight Majin Boo. They never actually finish that fight either. I don't think... There's another fight somewhere in the Dragon Ball Z series I'm not thinking about right now. And I don't know what one it is. It's not a Namek. I don't think it is. Because they actually team up against like Frieza and his people. So I don't think they fight over there. Then the Cell Saga happens pretty much. Well, no, firstly it's the Android Saga. Which they don't fight in that because... No, I don't think they ever fight... Uh, other than those two instances. And it's a critical hit. I don't think that critical hit mattered too much, to be honest. But go back and watch the entirety of the series. 
Goku actually never beats Vegeta. Not directly, at least. I mean, he beats people who Vegeta couldn't beat. Boo. For instance. Mainly. Mainly Boo. But he never actually beats him, so that's an interesting fact for you. Also, why am I going back? Because I want to fill up time in this episode so I can grind between episodes? Question mark? I, I think that's what I was thinking, but I probably shouldn't be thinking that. Also, Dragon Ball Super. Loving it. I really am. Um... You guys have already... Well, you maybe you haven't seen it because you don't watch Dragon Ball. That's really possible. And if that's the case, I'm so sorry for me rambling on about Dragon Ball right now. But I'm in the mood uh, for some Dragon Ball talk. I'm really loving Dragon Ball Super so far. There's been some really bad episodes. It really has been. Uh, as of me recording this, episode 11 is the latest one, I believe. And episode 12 is going to be released in a couple of days. Also, I just got another text. Oh... Yeah, about her doing drugs. Um, she's like, I'm totally relaxed right now. And I'm munching a lot. I'm eating. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's what weed kind of does. Um, but yeah, I'm hyped to see, like, Goku and Beerus fight for potential. I'm, I'm hyped to see how Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan actually works. Because in Battle of Gods, so we're like, there's a Super Saiyan God, it's rats. And then in Resurrection Ave, it's like, oh yeah, by the way, now we've got a blue version of this as well. I was like, what happened there? How did that happen? I want to see that in Dragon Ball Super. I think we've talked enough about Dragon Ball for one episode. I feel like we've talked about Dragon Ball enough for one episode. So let's go back to talking about weed. I've said everything I want to say about weed. So let's go back to talking about Dragon Ball. Actually, no, let's go back to talking about anime, but let's talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! Because... I don't know, I like Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> I really do. I've only really watched uh, the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series, uh, like the... I want to say the Egyptian stuff. Then I tried watching GX and... It's like, they show Yu-Gi, which is kind of like the Pharaoh. It's like, what, what's the Pharaoh doing here? I thought he went back to Egypt. No, apparently not, because he's Yu-Gi now. Uh, giving the Karibu cards and then he never shows up again. And I have heard that there's a couple of, like, Kaiba moments in the series as well. I never liked Kaiba. I like anti-heroes. I quite like, I mean, Vegeta, for instance. Um, Kaiba just annoys me to no extent. He just goes too far. Kaiba actually annoys me as a character. The whole point of an answer hero to me is that they're annoying little bitches in the beginning, maybe even antagonists. And then as you go along, they become kind of like a semi-protagonist? That never happens with Kaiba up until the very last moment he's like You people are fucking insane! And then the last duel happens and he's like Well, this is weird. But he still doesn't want to like admit that he was wrong. And he still doesn't want to admit that he's not the best um, duel uh, champion of games. King of games, that's it. Ever. So, Kaiba as a character annoys me to no extent. You've got no fucking idea. What was I going to talk about? Oh yeah, GX. I watched the first episode, I was like, you know... I'm just going to watch something else, because this... It feels awkward. I've spent like 220 or so episodes with these characters, and... Really, when you're going to make a follow-up series... The way you should be doing it is you should start with, like, having at least a couple of the main characters in there. And not just as a cameo, giving the new protagonist a card. Because I get that they try to do that, but you should have, like, included Yugi a little bit more. Maybe Yugi uh, would have been, like, his mentor for the first, like, three episodes. Or maybe Yugi would have been a celebrity and he would have looked up to him and uh, his... Uh, the new protagonist goal, I don't even know what his name is, that's how little I watched, was uh, to duel Yugi. And that was like the first couple of episodes to introduce the series, and you see Kaiba and Yugi, and there's still the rivalry going on between them, and then there's this new protagonist, and then as the series goes along, after about 5 to 10 episodes, you can just drop every single original character, but you've got to build up the new characters first, and you've got to have like the backup 
from the original characters we all know and love. It's the same with, like, um... I guess that's why they gave Karibo to the new kid as well, because that was, like, kind of resemblance. Like, you see, Karibo, we've had a lot of bullshit with that in the first series. Like, absolute bullshit. Karibo is a shitty cart. <laughs> It really is. It doesn't do what it does in the anime, believe me. It doesn't. That's my opinion on anime. So, that's been the episode for today, guys. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you've enjoyed this video. Next episode, we will be back. I will have grind everybody up to about level 10 or so, I guess. Yeah, that seems about fair. Till the next time, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Like I said, I've been Vlogger. You have been awesome as always. Bye.